Alright, welcome back everybody to episode 2 of uh, the co-op series. <laughs> I just got chased by uh, a lumberjack and, uh, and Curly up the stairs and, uh, and uh, well, thankfully I didn't take any damage, but zombies broke out overnight. Uh, they just did, actually, and we've been co collecting, uh, collecting resources, uh, and for some odd reason, like, uh, Fangs has been randomly dying, like, he hasn't been bleeding or anything, he just, like, kills over and dies, and it's like, we're wondering if his, uh, he's been cursed. But, <laughs> it's... Yeah, some mysterious stuff, like, uh... Okay, Curly's done... Yeah, I've been working on getting some resources overnight. Like, I got some stone, working on crafting tools. Found a pickaxe, uh... And, uh, in a, in a car overnight. Like, uh, it's a level 145, so... Nearly broken, but I can at least use it for something. Come here, Lumberjack. You deserve to... Hey. You've been asking for it all night. Some of the noises of the... Uh, oh, another level up. What I, was, what I was gonna say is, like, sometimes the... I thought the Lumberjack was uh, a burning zombie just by the sounds he was making. Like, sometimes they have similar noises. Found some beer, and... Just searching the search you know, the uh, area of uh, Buzz's bar, like behind the counter, where the good stuff's at. Uh, third cooking pot I found, and oh yeah, right over there. Well, they just saved us a. They saved us some time, you know, breaking in here. Still gotta break in. Uh, let's see what... Nothing in the old dumpster. Uh, yeah, it been an eventful night. Uh, didn't record the stuff, but... It's like... Yeah, a bit of dying on a Fang's part. I'm like... It was just kind of... We were just wondering, like, how the hell are you dying randomly? Like, you know, just, like, not getting hit, and, like, what, what is this stuff? Um... Um... Well, I got seven, seven leather on the craft, so we're a little less than halfway to the forge. So, if you want to beat on the, uh, beat on the, uh, stuff in the prison, I'm going to just take a little, a scout around the, uh, town to see what we got, so, it's like, yeah, I was just telling, uh, Vegas, like, you know, like, uh, you know, like, kind of joke with him overnight, I'm like, like you have the you have the mysterious dying disease and everything and they kinda start getting on uh COVID and everything and it's like tell them like how I used to work in uh retail and uh I literally was uh I literally worked through all of COVID. I never like uh, I I I never took like a, a vaccination shot or anything like that. Nothing nothing like that. It's just literal me being, uh, just going head on through it and, and trying to chase a deer now, so. Oh, actually hit the deer from a good distance away. And my accuracy's gone, uh, gone to the piss uh, because of the arrow drop. There's two deer. Yeah, they're literally running right towards the prison. Okay. 
Come here. You two, you. One stuck on a fence. Uh, no. Why do you ask? Oh, you're one of the spotlight? Yeah, I ha I haven't found a Urantia yet, so... Working on... Why? Oh, I, I do that. I do that too. You're not the only one. No, it's like I'll just start. I'll just start chopping the tree. It's like well, chopping, chopping the uh the, the door, and it's like only for like two seconds later to realize like, hey, idiot, it's unlocked. <laughs> Done that too. Working on deer number two. So basically, I took a. Took a sprint down the, uh, like, sprint west on the town, and, and then I basically come back to the bar just trying to hunt, hunt this deer down. So there was that, there was that whole thing of, uh, you know, taking a lap around the town. Ooh, hit another good shot on him. I might be chasing this deer, head this deer to the end of the earth. Let's check my skill points actually. Um, invest into a level of uh, sexy T Rex and invest into the survivor for uh, keep my uh, keep my hunger from going down too far. I think I lost the deer. Look. He was a running, so no way I found him. He he healed over and died from bleed damage. And I got a lumberjack. I got three lumberjacks. Wanted to have a word with me about the deer. The only things that are good in it is the uh, is the safes and the security room. That, it's a cool POI. Holy lumberjacks! Uh, like six. Well, I'm out of arrows, so. No. <laughs> well, thankfully I can outrun him fairly easily, so. Back to harvesting the deer. And then another, a, a, a lonesome wanderjack, a lumberjack uh, decides to wander over to me. I almost called him a wanderjack. And then the whole game comes back over. Ooh, very nice. Come on, guys. Let let me let me have this stupid deer. Thank you. Oh boy. I'm looking at like eight lumberjacks now. No, I want the bones. <laughs> I know how to train the zombies. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, because, uh, with my time, but. Yeah, because I'm out of stamina. Stamina. Oh. Well, it's like, thankfully, I know the, uh, I cut it over my uh, many years of Call of Duty Zombies experience. Been playing. Uh, I have played uh, zombies uh, at least uh, yo fairly often since uh, since Call of Duty World at War. So.
Oh, look, there's a pig here at the... That's, uh... Sniffing the fences outside the prison. Oh, time to beat, uh, time to beat him with the club. Oh, wait, I forgot I have steel arrows. <laughs> oh, great, Piggy's trying to run away. Yeah, thankfully, like, you're faster than pigs. Oh. As much as I love this version of console, it's like, I cannot wait for the new version, because to see the, uh, the new vehicles, uh, like the mini bike and, uh, not the mini bike, but, uh, the, the bicycle, the, uh, the 4x4 and all that. I've heard, I've heard flying the, uh, the gyrocopter on PC is, uh, quite the experience. Yeah, it's like, it, it's one of those, it's like, uh, like when I would watch, uh, Jawoodle, like, uh, like I remember seeing, uh, watching him, uh, like where he would act, he would accidentally fat finger the keys and, uh, and then he would, uh, when he's like, uh, like several hundred blocks up in the air, he would, uh, he would just drop like a rock out of the, uh, out of the sky. Oh, campfire's still going. Um, oh! Yeah, my character's only at 38 degrees. Um, I was just trying to find some, uh, short iron pipes for, for the fort. Yeah, for the bellows and then the forge. Because you need a forged iron, well, you need a... A short iron pipe, and then uh, for the bellows, and then you need one for the forge. Um, search the sink. Oh, found a wrench. It was in the, it was in the sink for uh, for the bar that we live on. Sorry, guys, it might be a little dark. I'm gonna wrench the, uh, wrench the toilet. Got three iron pipes out of that. Anything in this toilet? Mercury water can boil that down. And... Looking good on the, uh... Short iron pipes front now. If you wrench a, uh... One of the spotlights, does it, uh... Hmm, I did not know that. Uh, I never really bothered to wrench them, because with my base, uh, with my bases, usually I just light them up with with torches, and, and uh, that's about it. Oh, in terms of how much light they put out, yeah. I'm like, it'd be nice to have them, you know, for like a nice aesthetic base build, but I'm like, if I was to just start doing like, you know, kind of like little POI building things, I'd rather just, uh, wait for the new version to come out, because they have so many shapes, like, we're, we're talking like, over 300 block shapes you can use with, just with the, uh, with the shape menu. Yeah, you could literally, like, uh, you can literally do that stuff, I'm like, I'm like, you know, even though I'm patiently waiting, I know some people are probably impatiently waiting for it, it's, uh, it's one of those, it's kind of like, I'm like, man, I have some base builds uh, that I would love to do with that, with that shape menu. And then, that I don't exactly know about. I don't know what the base, what the, uh, world sizes are exactly I'd know like on this version when uh the world borders kind of come in about uh about uh three they go like they start kicking in about three thousand like uh, for map coordinates 
So I tried wrenching a, uh, uh, um, one of the spotlights, and it's not giving me the special animation. You. Yeah. Alright, moment of truth here. Oh, it... Oh, it actually did! Oh, sweet. I did... Cue the, uh, Spongebob two hours later meme for you. Do you have a specific spot you want the uh, spotlights at? Oh. You don't want the bar to be your permanent base? Because then you get out drinks. <laughs> I mean, if you really felt like it, you could probably somehow make a tiki bar. Uh, okay, I've got to finally go look around, and for those of you watching, I'm going to cut, cut here, and then I'll come back to see what we got on the map. And we've... And I've uh, explored this whole town, guys, so... Uh, he... Fangs was just asking me, you know, about the label storage boxes uh yeah those bo those storage boxes are they're basically there just to be able to like you know organize your loot like they're literally there just to like you know like have building you know weapons and then like i use ex the explosives box as uh as a trader box they're basically there just to help you organize your organize your stuff Okay, I'm on my way back to the prison. I, um, no, the bar. The bar, I meant. Take my vitamins here. I'm up to 101. Well, I'm up. I'm up to 101 wealth and uh, health and and uh, stamina. Max. I just need to... Um, uh, I need to make myself a stone shovel. Because I need some clay. For the forge. Okay. Level 22. Uh, let's see here, where's a patch of clay I can start beating on? Yeah, I just need a little bit of clay and then I can start making the forge, but then I need more to smelt the iron down. Yeah, we're just working on collecting resources here. Uh, Fangs finally uh, got done beating on the safe for how many years? Yes, you found some gun parts. Did you find a shotgun schematic yet? Okay, I I have the shotgun schematic. So, what uh, what piece are you missing for it? Oh, okay. I think. Uh, I think I might actually have a receiver.
If you just want to leave the uh, the stock barrel and parts in one of my storage boxes, I'll put that together for you. You don't even like the blunderbuss? Some people say... That makes sense. Yeah, the, uh, the shotgun, well, it's like, uh, it's like, personally, like, for me, it's like, once I have the ammo for, I, I enjoy the, uh, the 44 Magnum, I love the boom, too, and it's like, and that, and, because it has such high damage, it's like, it, it usually, uh, decapitates zombies pretty easily. Uh... Yeah, it's like me. Like I have, I have fairly decent accuracy in Call of Duty, and it's like this game though. Like with the guns, it's like uh, I'm like, like I can be pretty decent about hitting shots sometimes, but it's like basically it's like, oh yeah, the accuracy is just absolutely tanked. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. <laughs> I, I get what you mean on that, it's like, I'm like, the only real thing I don't like on, uh, the only real class of weapons I'm not a fan of on Call of Duty is, uh, is sniper rifles. I suck with sniper rifles. This iron pickaxe I found in a car is literally, uh, because it's so low durability now, it's basically proving to be Less effective than than a stone than a stone axe. <laughs> Just keep going, man. You'll you'll have level three before you know it. <laughs> uh, maybe the forge will help you warm up. Do you have? Do you have the? Do you at least have plant fiber clothing on? Okay, then. <laughs> so basically, uh, we might be having frozen fangs for supper. At this point, you're, <laughs> since you're at uh, hypothermia stage 2, you might become a frozen dinner. <laughs> I didn't ask for a frozen TV dinner to play with me. <laughs> Alright, here's the forge. Did you put the shotgun parts in the, uh, in the, in one of my boxes? Ah, oh, okay. I'm just trying to smelt some... So we actually can't build a shotgun. Because... Well, uh, the thing is, it's like... You have the shotgun short stock. Uh, I need the shotgun long stock, or the shotgun short barrel, to do... To, com to have either one of the shotguns. Which, to me, is like me being a gun nut in real life. I'm like... You could just put the shotgun short stock on and it would and it would function just the same because they're the same they're basically the same shotgun model in the game, just one has a sawed off stock and and barrel and it's like oh brother. It's one of those I don't Well, 
what really doesn't help with uh, hypothermia is uh, it will start chewing through your food. Try. Yeah, I get it. Anyway, those of you guys. No, I no, I get it. Like, uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna be about it for today's episode. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed, and I, I I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. <laughs>